So, about a week ago, I did a pack battle, and I lost. And because I lost, I now have to do a dramatic reading of a scene from Pokemon. I had you guys leave some suggestions, and someone suggested the infamous Brock drawing pan scene from Mewtwo Returns. By the way, I am not an actor, and I'm also not a writer, so this is going to be absolutely terrible. Now, I can't show any footage for copyright reasons, but here we go. Ash, Misty, Brock, and of course Pikachu were taking a peaceful stroll through a quaint forest in the Johto region. It was a bright sunny day. The leaves rustled in the gentle breeze and the birds were chirping. Suddenly, holy crud, a giant mountain thing off in the distance! Ash and friends ran up to check that crud out. That must be... Must be Pika. That's it, all right. Purity Canyon, the Johto region's greatest natural wonder, Brock said while staring at what is clearly a massive mountain, not a canyon. Yeah, no wonder. I wonder how we get across it. Brock very conveniently has a guidebook with the needed information. The book says it's impossible on foot. The only way to get across is by bus, but it only takes the trip once a month. When does it leave? Lunchtime. Today. Too bad we won't be able to go. Ash looks at Brock in shock, like, bro, that could you said was really dumb. Why not? We still have time to make it, he says. I know, Brock replies, reaching into his backpack and pulling out a sturdy iron frying pan. But I've been planning to try a new recipe and make spicy pizza pancakes for lunch. Ash quickly forgets the dumb crud Brock just said as he drools at the thought of spicy pizza pancakes. But Misty suddenly exclaims, Look, that must be the bus down there! The bus quickly drives by on a path below. What the heck was with the info from your guidebook, Brock? That crud was totally wrong! Anyways, Ash yells, Come on, maybe we can catch it! And starts running after the bus, completely forgetting how they were going to skip the bus and have spicy pizza pancakes. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, clouds begin to roll in. The sky goes dark and rain begins to pour down. Good old Ash, always loving to point out the obvious, says, Oh no, it's raining! But Brock, the true hero, the man with the plan, still equipped with the frying pan, explains his genius idea. Hey, I know! A smirk grew on his face. I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan! Then the universe exploded. The end.